Hello and welcome to this review of the Royal Riviera Hotel, which is a five-star hotel resort in Nice, France. As you can see, it's a really nice space. The lobby area here is a really nice area, so we're going to check it out. As you can see, you'll find some amazing ambiance. The hotel has very friendly staff. I personally love the ambiance of the hotel, and in addition to the main building, you have a nice resort area outside as well with this really nice garden vibe. As far as amenities, the hotel offers a pool, a full-size bar, and a restaurant with breakfast. In addition, you will find some more amenities, such as a poolside restaurant, as you can see, with pretty good food options. However, the best part of the restaurant is not the food. In fact, it's the incredible views of the French Riviera, as you can see, and you will find a really nice beach at the hotel uh, with amazing staff. The staff here are quite friendly, and I really did like the beach. In addition, you can also... Um, go water skiing as well as jet skiing which is pretty cool you just have to like um, reserve it um, down by the beach area so it's definitely a really nice touch to enjoy the French Riviera. A lot of the hotel area as you can see it's kind of outdoors uh, you will find a really nice pool area down this long walkway as you can see the pool area itself is pretty nice pretty large as well, definitely um, one of the nicest pool areas I've seen. It's also quite clean as you can see, and just look at how relaxing uh, the area feels itself. By the pool area, it is possible to order beverages, though please keep in mind that the beverages are not available complimentary, and you're going to have to pay. In addition to all of these poolside chairs, you will also find a bar area by the pool, so you can also grab beverages there as well. When poolside, I decided to grab a virgin pina colada, which was not available complimentary, however, it was quite refreshing. In addition to the main hotel building, there is a second hotel building out here, which is a lot smaller, but the rooms here are a bit larger, of course. You'll find some suites, uh, which are actually pretty large, definitely an incredible size compared to many other suites you'll find at beach resorts. This probably used to be one of my favorite beach resorts, a uh, really incredible style. I love the nice yellow color. Um, the bright colors definitely give the space a really nice accent, um, definitely warm, vibrant feel contributes to that as well. As far as the size of the suite, this one is pretty generous. We have a pretty large bed, as you can see, which is very plush, thick, and comfortable. In addition, uh, we do have the large TV screen, which works with a remote, as well as some table space where uh, you'll find water provided, as well as um, the desk space. Definitely really nice amenities will notice throughout the room. You're also provided with a lamp, as well as a pen. This QR code does contain information. And in addition, we do have the balcony, which is really nice. You'll find some chairs. You can also access the balcony from the living room, though I do believe it is blocked um, by the curtains. And the living room itself is actually pretty nice. As you can see, you can also access the balcony from here, though it is blocked um, by the curtains. And you will notice a really large, um, really nice view of the hotel. Uh, I personally love the pink color that they got before. I kind of think it gives the building and um, the yellows throughout a nice little accent. Pretty large, sizable couch, TV screen, and in addition, you can um, request one of those pull-up beds, which is actually pretty comfortable. The one here um, was definitely uh, very plush and comfortable. Not as comfortable as the other um pull up beds I've experienced, um, but this one was actually kind of comfortable. Anyways, we have um, the bathroom, as well as some more storage options. Uh, you will find a shower with shampoo, shower gel, a hair dryer, all of the basic essentials you'd expect, and we do have some more stowage over here for personal items. And of course, we can't forget out the mini bar, which is located um, at this little corner of the room. It's stocked with candy and chips, other stuff. In addition, we do have the selection of beverages available as well as some wine glasses. You'll find some soft beverages and some juice, soda, water, all bottled up as you can see. So definitely not the most impressive selection, but way better than what you get at most other hotels. 
now that we've already had a look at our suite, let's go and check out the breakfast offerings here at the Royal Riviera in the French Riviera part of Nice, France. There is some restaurant-style seating. Um, I definitely prefer to sit outside because you'll get an amazing view of the French Riviera. Not many places in the world like it, but anyways, the buffet spread here is pretty decent, as you can see. Not the most impressive uh, compared to many other hotels, but also not that bad. I mean, I'll definitely take it compared to what most other resorts have to offer. Offer. Pretty decent spread, as you can see, you'll find some pastries, some fruit, in addition we do have some granola, some cereal, milk. As far as hot options, you'll find things like waffles, crips, pancakes, eggs, all of the basic essentials you could, you could expect at almost any hotel breakfast buffet. Um, Unfortunately, um, there are no individual plated portions of food here. Uh, I kind of feel like that elevates the experience here. The experience isn't really the most elevated. I've actually been to several airport lounges where the selection is definitely much better than what you'll get here as far as the dining experience goes. In addition, you do have a couple of beverage options, such as juice and stuff, and of course you got your cheese. Uh, being in France, the French are obviously known for their delicious cheese, so of course uh, I had to give that a try. And of course, we do have to appreciate the fact that the hotel logo is carved into the bottom of the coffee cup, and you can also find it atop the jars with jam and marmalade. I opted for a decaffeinated cappuccino, which was nicely presented. I then grabbed a crepe from the buffet, along with some Nutella sauce, and in addition, we do have some cheese. Uh, given that we're in France, of course, I opted for an incredible selection of brie, as well as some gruyere. If you don't feel like coming all the way out here, it is possible to order room service. In addition to the breakfast buffet selection, there is also a second restaurant located poolside out here, which offers incredible views. Um, kind of feels like you're outdoors, though you're actually inside. It's definitely a really nice and impressive setup. In addition to that, you also do have um, some tables. There are plenty of options, such as like hummus, salad, sandwiches, and some other stuff you can order out here. The hotel offers direct access to the beach, as you can see, located down this set of stairs. It's definitely a re really impressive. You get incredible views both of the hotel and of the French Riviera as well. In addition to that, you can also do jet skiing and a bunch of other water activities out here, which is pretty nice. You're going to have to reserve them uh, before in advance before you do them, of course, but still, definitely a really nice setup. You can also order beverages out here, however, those are not available completely. And of course, we can't forget out the amazing garden, which is located outside of the entrance of the resort building, which is where we're staying. It's really nice, definitely an incredible setup. I personally love the nice um, garden feel, very lush, very pretty, definitely nice and relaxing to uh, come out here. It's one of the best parts of this hotel, also uh, one of the most relaxing um, setups as well. Though it is kind of bright out here, please keep in mind that there are a lot of mosquitoes out here, so I do recommend wearing mosquito repellent uh, before you come out here, otherwise that might not be the most uh, comfortable thing, but otherwise this is seriously an impressive spot. And now with that said, let's discuss the concluding thoughts of the Royal Riviera here in Nice, France, or the French Riviera. It's definitely an incredible hotel. Now, the breakfast spread isn't the most impressive, uh, even though you could either order a la carte or uh, from the buffet. I do wish that they had a bit more of an extensive selection. Besides that, the amenities are pretty impressive. Definitely a pretty good layout, not the most modern, but I wouldn't mind staying here for a few nights. Uh, definitely one of the nicest um, hotels I've so far been to. Really amazing views, very scenic as well. The staff were friendly and act professional. Uh, Wi-Fi here is available, and it's complimentary as expected or as should be at all hotels. Other than that, uh, not really many complaints. The suite was really large, like my goodness. Uh, definitely really spacious. Uh, lots of space to uh, store your stuff, stretch out, and relax. 
there's also a bar and um, a few restaurants, uh, so that's pretty nice as well. But other than that, I don't really have many bad things to say on this hotel other than the fact that it's not really that modern. And uh, the food here is definitely not the most impressive. I think that the Lusticia Hotel was still a bit better, um, except for the size of the suite at both places. I would definitely uh, prefer to stay at the Lutetia Hotel next time, but they're technically kind of different. Um, that one definitely is a more classy feel. This one is definitely more beach-like. With that said, I hope all of you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to check out my Instagram and my website. I'll be sure to link both of those in the description below. And if you haven't already, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe.